Today, folks, just wanted to tell you a quick little message here. In the Bible, it does say that it's appointed once for man to die, after this, the judgment. We're here to ask you the question, how will you do on that day, since 10 out of 10 of us are going to meet death one day and take that train ride into eternity? How will you do? The Bible has given us a clear test, all of us. By looking at the Ten Commandments, we can tell what God thinks of us. Have you ever lied, stolen, blasphemed God's holy name? If you've done those things, you're a sinner, just like we are. But there is a way to be forgiven. So if you've blasphemed his name, if you've done those things, if you've broken the Ten Commandments, and you die without acknowledging God's way, he will have justice and punish you in a place called hell. And we don't want that for you, neither does your God. So he's made this thing. himself on that tree, on that cross, so that you can be free from the penalty that death brings if you die in your sin. He will wash you and cleanse you, make you a new creature, if only you turn to him in repentance and put your faith and trust in the fact that God that none of us can pay. We can't work it off. We can't climb that ladder to heaven. It's by Jesus Christ alone that you can be saved. Please, folks, I'm pleading with you. Today, when you get home, go into your room. 
get right with God. Get on your knees and confess your sins to Him. And ask Him to forgive you. He's faithful, He's kind, and He's just. He will forgive you, folks. Please do it today. Please. Down, down, down. Thank you for listening. I want to go up and down in your class. Up and down in your class.